All right, so some of you had expressed interest in trying to figure out where the position formula comes from uh, when you have the velocity formula. And if you remember, this is a line whose equation is given by v equals at plus v naught. To get the position formula, we're going to do what we did in the previous unit, which is get the area under the velocity graph. And in this case, we've got a trapezoid. And so what I want to do is kind of get some coordinates labeled here. Um, so I'm going to just kind of label the vertices with the appropriate coordinates. So this is 0, 0. This is 0, t. This here is t. Now, I could call this letter v, right? That's some point v. But that's equal to a t plus v naught. And then here, we have 0, v naught. So the area of a trapezoid is given as um, h1 plus h2 all over 2 times the base. So here, h1 equals v naught. And here, h2 equals a t plus v naught. And then we have our base equal to the time t. So let's go ahead and plug all that in. So we're going to have um, v naught plus a t plus v naught all over 2 times the base, which is t. So let's simplify this out. We're going to end up getting 2 v naught plus a t all over 2 times t. And the area then ends up being 1 half at squared plus v naught times t. But the area is the displacement. That's where we end up. So the area, if you remember, is x final minus x initial. So we have x minus x initial equals 1 half at squared plus v naught t. We bring the initial position to the other side. And finally, what we're left with is this formula here, which gives us our position equation from our velocity graph.